Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this painted acrylic welcome sign. To start our project, I mix a pewter blue paint along with a couple drops of green to get a nice blue-green base. I want to darken it with some midnight blue till I get a pretty teal color. Of course, each sign is going to be a little different, so I just keep adding till I get the color that I want. I use a sponge to start dabbing the paint onto my acrylic piece. I'll be doing multiple layers so it doesn't need to be perfect the first time. For the next layer, I add more midnight blue to the mix for an even darker look. Doing the same thing, applying a pretty even layer over the entire board. For an even darker last coat, I add black paint to the mix along with more midnight blue. I check my work to see if there are any areas that need more paint and then I let this dry while I start working on my lettering. So I already have a template ready to go on canva.com. It's super easy to make your own. Just go into create a new document and then make it the size of the piece that you are going to be working with. Now, this is the information that I'm going to be adding to this board. So all I'm doing is duplicating it so then I can easily compare it to my original. And then just adding in the names, the date, and the location for this couple. And the font is from Canva, it's called Amitha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, but that is the font. And then you can also purchase that, I believe, on the web. If you're uh, not used to working with Canva, just search that on Google and you should be able to purchase that. Now I just start kind of eyeballing it, playing around with the spacing and the positioning of the date and the location. Um, the location's really long and then the date's really short. So I'm actually going to be going in and spacing out the letters um, to be a little bit wider, uh, just to make that look a little bit bigger and more proportional on the sign. Once your design is complete, go ahead and save that to your computer. I always do this as a PNG with the transparent background just because it saves me time whenever I am uploading this into Cricut Design Space. Since I have downloaded it with a transparent background, it already recognizes um, all of the spots that it needs to be cutting, and so I don't have to go in to the software. Usually, if you download like the JPEG, you'd have to go in and click all the spaces that you don't want it to cut. Um, so that just saves a lot of time if you end up downloading it with the transparent background. You don't have to do any of that on Cricut Design Space. Next, I am going to add in a box to serve as a placeholder. All you do is enter in a square, unlock that, and then um, I'm changing the dimensions to the size of my acrylic piece, which mine is an 18 by 24 inch. I drag that out to size and play around with the spacing until it's just right. Since the Cricut can only cut up to 11 and a half by 23 and a half inches, I am going to need to break this piece into two. So what I do is just pull that um, placeholder out and then I make that to size to what my Cricut can cut. So that 11 and a half by 23 and a half. And then I drag it over to see exactly um, what the best 
way to cut this on my machine would be usually I end up doing it like this with the plus or and which actually on this I ended up going and switching it to the and um, just because that's what the couple wanted on their sign um, so I either I include that with one half and then cut the other half as one as well so then it will cut on two different pieces both utilizing the larger 24 inch mat since I'm using Orcal 651 I am going to choose the premium outdoor vinyl setting I just lay the vinyl onto my mat and use my Craftopia soft scraper to adhere that down. And let my Cricut Maker make its cuts and then it is time to weed the project. Um, just to make it easier for bigger projects like this, I do cut it into sections um, just in case I lift something up that I don't mean to, like a dot on the eye. Once that is good to go, I add my transfer tape and smooth that out. Peel that off your mat and do the same with the second half of the sign. Once your decals are ready to go, it is time to add them to your acrylic. Now, to make this easier for me, working with the larger pieces like this, I like to peel back half of it um, and then cut off that piece of the cardstock just so I can lay the other half of it down without it sticking. Um, it's just easier for me to kind of eyeball it when I'm working with the painted signs like this. I then take my soft scraper to varnish that down, then lift off the rest of the cardstock and gently lay that onto the piece. Peel off the transfer tape so it is out of the way for your next decal. This transfer tape is awesome for acrylics because it peels up without leaving a residue. Then just do the same thing for the second part of the decal. Well, I really hope that this helped in your own DIY wedding planning. A huge congratulations to you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more DIY wedding tutorials.